Welcome to another lecture in Basics of Unity. In this lecture, we are going to learn about importing video files in your project. So let's get started. First of all, right click in your assets panel and click on import new asset. It will open the dialog box, navigate where your videos has been placed and Select your video and click import. It will automatically import your video and you will notice that our file icon has been changed to the first frame of our video. In the inspector panel you can also see there are different settings available to us now for video clip. Here you can see that importer version is set to video clip. We have a movie texture which is now deprecated. It's been used in old Unity versions but now we are using video clip in our lecture. First of all we have a deinterlace setting which is set to off. We have even and odd other option for deinterlace. Then we have a flip horizontally checkbox. If we set it to true it will horizontally flip our entire video. Then we have a flip vertically checkbox. If we check it it will flip our entire video vertically. Then we have an import audio checkbox. It let us import the audio of our video on the same stage. If we leave it out, we can use the video without the audio as well. Then we have platform specific settings for video files. Let's see what they are. Let's go to the default tab. And first of all, we have a transcode checkbox and all of the settings are under the transcode checkbox. If we want to change the dimensions, codec, bitrate spatial quality of our video we check this box and it enables all these settings you will see the dimensions of the original video are 848 by 480 you can change it to three quarter half resolution quarter resolution square of 1024 by 1024 square of 512 by 512 square of 256 by 256 or even a custom value then we have the codec right now it's being set to auto we have VP8 and H264 codec available to us. Then we have a bitrate mode. It's being set to high. We can change it to medium and low as well. Then we have the spatial quality. It's being set to high spatial quality for now. We can change it to low and medium spatial quality as well. Then same as we did for audio, we can do platform specific change to this setting by going to the specific tab of each platform and change the setting. This part is crucial for videos because we usually don't need high quality because we won't usually need such a high quality video inside our Android or iOS phone. So we override these settings for Android and iOS. Similarly, we can change it for WebGL as well. Then we have a preview panel over here and you will see a little play button over here if we click it it will play our video inside this panel 